My dear people of God, we are on the 25th ordinary Sunday and this Sunday has some great lessons for us. The scripture readings invite us to check whether we have been squandering the property of our parents or whether we have been squandering the property that is entrusted to our care. To check if we have been using our wealth or money wisely or if we have been using for some bad purposes. The scenario in the first reading taken from the book of Amos is not very pleasant. It opens before us the world of commerce. It shows how the rich people, the business class people exploit the poor and the needy. They cheated them in the sale of grain by measuring it out in containers smaller than they were supposed to be, by tempering with the balances used for weighing and by mixing chaff with the product sold. What they were occupied with was only profit-making money. Even at prayer, they would think about making profits. They wanted even the rest days, the new moon day and the Sabbath to pass quickly because those days of rest put a limit to their greed of accumulating wealth and money. The wealthy people who gave loans of grain to the poor cheated in such a way that they could not repay the loan and therefore make them debt slaves and later they used and abused them as they wanted. They dehumanized the slaves. They had no regard for their dignity, human dignity. Their greed was so much for money and wealth that they were blinded to see the needs of the poor. What they could see was only profit, money, money, money. And money had become their God. They had replaced their God with wealth or money. Are we running after money? Are we preoccupied with only making profits? If we do not use our wealth or money wisely and shrewdly, it can become our master and ruin our lives. Let's come to the gospel passage. Jesus in the gospel passage presents the parable of the dishonest manager or the dishonest steward. The master of the steward came to know that his steward or the manager was squandering his property or his wealth and therefore he summoned him and fired him and said, you cannot be my manager anymore. Now this was a big crisis for the manager because he would lose his job now and what to do next, how to make a living in the future. So he began to plan for his future and in order to gain the goodwill of the debtors of his master, he thought of reducing their debts so that later on, once he is removed from his job, they would help him to make a living. So he reduced their debts of some by 50% and of some 80%. Were these actions of the steward correct? There could be three possibilities. You could choose any one of them. First, he was again cheating on his master by reducing the size of the debt. Second, he was acting righteously by reducing the interest prohibited by the Mosaic law in Deuteronomy chapter 23 verses 19 20 or in Exodus chapter 22 verse 24. And third, he was reducing his own commission that was included in the debt. I would go for the third option, the third alternative, because he would not cheat on his master again because he was already declared as a dishonest manager in verse 1. He had lost his credibility and therefore he would undo his mistake. Furthermore, such a forgiveness of death or being generous would probably help 
the master's own reputation and therefore his master admired and commended his actions the way he tried to come out of his crisis the noticeable point here my dear people of god is this the one who had acted dishonestly could do something commendable now jesus uses this story to show that the people of light that is the people who wish to be with god in heaven by being rich or wealthy on this earth could also accomplish much by giving up some of their worldly wealth or money in no way jesus is teaching us to be dishonest with all that is entrusted to us in all our dealings rather jesus exhorts us to be wise and faithful stewards of all that is in our care he shows us the way to come out of our crisis that is when we are into crisis especially eschatological crisis we need to be decisive we need to be shrewd and prudent and finally even if we have been dishonest and have soiled our reputation we could undo the mistake and achieve great things in life may god bless each one of you